it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back with another month of sales. So this is the month of March that I'm going to show you. I've got 10 things on the list that I will go through today and you will see what I sold. And I'm also going to explain how much the shipping was, how much the fees were, and what my take home amount was for each of these items. So I am establishing an 8% baseline for the fees and that is about 5% for the item that sells and then another about three percent for the processing payment fees that uh, are just inevitable so etsy does charge a five percent fee for selling on their platform and that is basically like a final value fee just what ebay does so i include all of my shipping not only in the purchase price on my store i include it for this uh, assessment here so let's take a look at what sold all right, so the first item up on the list is this really cool set of three mixing bowls by Pyrex. And this is in the Bluebell pattern. It's a graduated set, so it has three different bowls, all different sizes, and, and they nest together. So it's a really nice set and actually pretty scarce to find out in the wild. So for that, I was able to sell it for $140. That does include shipping, but the shipping on that was about $21, and I did pay... 20 I did pay $40 for the item at an auction which was actually like uh, not as much as I was thinking I was going to have to pay for these bowls because generally Pyrex goes high and especially since it's a pattern and a style you don't really see a lot so this is a really cool set here it's from the 60s and this is in the bluebell pattern like I said and there they are nesting in each other just a really awesome set of three bowls and they did sell. They were in pretty fantastic shape without any uh, big scratches. I mean, there's minor scratch wear in the bowls themselves, which is, I mean, that's gonna happen. So all in all, I made I made $68 at the end of the day. That's minus fees, shipping, all of that, cost of goods, 68 bucks, pretty darn good for Pyrex mixing bowls. Next item up is actually these really cool glasses and there's a set of six of them with the Z monogram. And I'll just slide through real quickly. These actually were sold to someone who gifted them to their son, whose name starts with a Z. So that's cool. And they sold for a total of $60. Now I did pay only $2 for these, which is a really amazing price. So $2 for these. And actually they were part of a larger grouping of glasses. So I bought these glasses along with a few others. And I don't remember what the other glasses in the set were, but these were almost free basically. So $2 I'll put on that. And I shipped it for $21. So I ended up making about $33 profit on these glasses. So that's really good. And they are just really cool glasses. Next up. Okay, so interesting story. These dishes here, well, I'll first tell you what they are. They're Royal China in the star glow pattern. So it's this kind of snowflake gold design. It's kind of an iron, it's like, it's a type of ironstone dishware. And I had these listed separately. So the way I did it was I did it by the place setting. So you see the place setting, it's five pieces. It includes the mug, the saucer, the bowl, the dinner plate, and the bread plate. So I had each each serving set, each place setting listed separately for $20 plus shipping. Uh, I think so it was like maybe $40 a set. All right, so after about a year and a half of these not selling, I finally decided that I was going to clear the table, put these on there, retake the photos, and just list them all together. Unfortunately, I already did sell two of these. Otherwise, I would have listed this as a set of six for six people. But luckily, still four were, were four remained. So I was able to put them together and it's still a good set for four. But they sold for a total of $96.93. Now, the difference here is I decided not to include the shipping and I added it on as a calculated shipping based on the weight of the item. So with everything else in my store, I've just been including the shipping in the whole bundled price. So if I wanna make $20 and I know the shipping is going to be about $10, I'll make it 30 total package price. And it's just easier for the customer to wrap their heads around sometimes without adding things up. Yeah, that's not really um, that, that bad to add up, but still, I don't know. So 
I sold these for $96.93. I paid for them about $10. It's been so long and there was so many more pieces in the set originally. Some really cool glasses and all that. I mean, for the whole bundle of everything, I think I spent about $30. So we're just gonna say about 10 for these right here. But anyway, they did sell and they sold for, I told you what they sold for. I paid $10 and they shipped for $19.63. So I made 50, what did I make? Okay, yes, I made $58. So that's really good, $58 profit on those minus all of the cost of goods, the shipping, the fees and everything so that's really good and I um, took new photos this was actually the way I originally had it set up right here where they were shown like this with the five pieces and they were sold as a quantity so you could buy up to four at this point individual place settings but that wasn't working and so I um, finally wised up to that very awesome star glow next up on the list is this really cool lipstick figurine girl now when I bought this I didn't know actually I did know when I bought it what it was but the first time I saw this at the store at the flea market I had no clue what it was and in fact whenever I saw it there on the counter on the table there were these little holes here and you can see them three little holes and I thought to myself darn it I wish this had the what you know I, I wish it was all complete that it had whatever was supposed to be in these holes not knowing that it was lipstick and you would supply your own but I went home I guess I thought about it because then I decided to find out from Barb Aaron's sister that it's actually supposed to be for lipstick and I went right back and I bought it so I paid for this little girl three dollars it sold for a total of thirty eight dollars and the shipping was only five dollars and twelve cents it was able to go first class pretty lightweight so that means I netted about $27 very good for this and it's just awesome and I don't really see stuff like that so that was one reason I did go back plus I'm a nut for figurines so but um, there it is it's awesome and it's in great shape without any chips or cracks anything like that very nice okay this next item here was actually pretty interesting because as you can see on the screen it says reserved installment plan so this was a situation where it was listed for $195 and it was listed for maybe about four or five months and it wasn't really getting much traction naturally it's pretty expensive but I did research I found out that this is pretty rare it's made by where is this at it's made by Norcrest it's a mermaid seashell decor that's very popular right now and they're hard to find so I listed it for $195. Well, she messaged me about maybe two months ago asking if I would do a layaway plan for her. And because it was such a high price and I really wanted to see these sell, uh, I accepted that. So I went ahead and I set up an installment plan on Etsy for her. And I'm not gonna get into how I set that up. It's pretty straightforward. You, I did it, that's the key. So I did that and she paid over, I think five installments, a down payment and then four yeah, I think, and then four reoccurring payments that were the same total. So she paid a total of $195. For these, I paid $3 at a yard sale. Well, it's kind of like a yard sale, moving sale. I have too much stuff, so I'm going to put it out in my yard and sell it sale. It was a lot of stuff. So I did sell it for $195, and I only paid $3. But this is awesome, and I'll slide through the photos real quick minor chips right there along the edges but they are really awesome I show the chips up close little tiny one right there this is a type of luster wear really awesome ceramic not chalk it's a ceramic uh, pair of ceramic wall plaques so that's just super cool and they sold and I'm happy about that next up on the list some more ceramic so these are kind of in line with chalkware, what that is, where you hang it on the wall and it's this decorative thing, but this is ceramic. Um, it sold for $75, very awesome. These three, the little trio here, I did pay, I don't remember, between eight and $10 at my antique mall where I have some booths at. I bought them from another vendor in their booth and listed them online. So they did sell for $75, like I said, uh, and the shipping on that was about $7 and 49 cents. Oh, by the way, let me go back. The mermaids, I think I've, 
yeah, I forgot. The mermaids, I made $158. All said, all in, fees, everything, shipping, done. $158, so that's good. The mermaids, I netted at the very end of everything about $51. So really good money on those mermaids. No, seahorses. So the mermaids, I did. I netted about $51 on those seahorses. And yeah, the shipping on that was only about $7.50. Not bad. Uh, I bought them for about $8 to $10. So very, very good. And I'll slide through these real quickly. In fact, actually, uh, it's been broke and glued back together. That was another thing. Right there it shows that, and it's also listed in the description. So, considering the damage, $75, very good. But from the front, you can see here, you don't really see it. It's kind of like right there along that ridge. Okay, we're getting through here. Only four more to go, including this one. Awesome set of these Aztec and styled drawer pulls. I bought these at Goodwill about four months ago, maybe, and I paid only two dollars for them. But we have here a set of 10, and I was feeling pretty optimistic about them because I don't know, I just felt like if you're going to restore a piece of furniture, you want to really make it unique, these are unique, and I think they'll sell. So I did a little research, found out that I could sell these for $55, and they did sell. So $55 for the set of 10 of these, and I paid two. The shipping was only $7.55, and that's really great. So all in all, I made about 40 bucks on these handles from Goodwill. I'll slide through real quickly. They're not old, actually. They're, I believe, from like 93. That copyright is on here somewhere. There we are, 1993 KFC, it says. <laughs> But there we are, showed lots of angles of it to show how to install it on your drawer. It's very cool. And you have a set of 10. Next up, interestingly, this item here got shipped to Israel. Really, really strange. Uh, actually, it went to Tel Aviv. So Tel Aviv, Israel. Weird. I would not imagine this would go. Also, considering they spent a lot of money on shipping. So... Here's the deal. This sold for a grand total of $93. However, there was some supplemental shipping added to that. Originally, it wasn't listed for $93. It was, it was listed for lower than that. But since they are international, automatically, for this weight class, I put a flat rate shipping on it so that I would be covered. So, yeah, no, I'm not doing free shipping to Israel because the shipping alone on that was... $36. So I believe I added $35 flat rate to the cost. So it would originally been 93 minus 35. That was the base, base price for, inter, for, <laughs> for domestic shipping in the United States. But because it's international and the weight class that it is, it was 35. All right. So I think I paid two two to four dollars for this maybe i paid next to nothing i don't remember generally i could pick up blankets like this this for very little so anyways i sold it for a grand total of 93 dollars and after all considered i netted 47 dollars very nice so who knew blanket like this it's a dusty rose color and it's made by lady pepperell uh signature twill woven acrylic acrylic not even wool so there it is and it is actually a did it say king um yeah it's a king so that helps it out too all right two more to go here we are this is very neat and i picked this up at an estate sale very recently actually and it's a wilton piano cake set very awesome i paid one or two dollars for it i don't remember either one or two doesn't matter and the shipping on that was nine dollars and 26 cents so all considered i made about 23 dollars on it because it sold for 38 dollars with shipping included but it's a really cool wilton cake set includes the whole situation here with the liberace style candlestick situation um very neat has a cake decorating book in it as well Last but certainly not least is one of these very cool haul pieces that I bought from someone around here. They had a lot of haul pieces like this one, about a hundred of those, 
hundred different kind of things. I bought it. It's a separate video if you're interested in looking at that. But I paid about a dollar a piece whenever it was averaged out. All right. So I spent maybe two dollars here. I'm not sure how she counted it. I didn't really check her math, but let's say two dollars I spent on this situation right there. All right. Fifty five dollars total price. Nine dollar and twenty two cent shipping. Pretty low, actually. I don't think it had to go very far. And that means I netted $43 off the sale. So that is the month. I think I did pretty spectacular. These are just 10 of the items. I did sell a lot more than that, but I wanted to kind of keep it condensed and short so we're not here talking for about an hour. But anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.